guys, we have the Build Pro Notcher uh, here that we're using part of our cart. Um, a few of the features I just want to kind of um, go over. Obviously, it, it indexes into the, the whole pattern. So we're using it across the short end of the table now, but you can turn it in any direction that you would like. Uh, pivot on the pins. Um, this is the clamp that comes with it, which is pretty neat because you know it, it you know it fits all the holes on the table, uh, and you can move the clamp around depending on where you're trying to notch your part. Um, it's adjustable on this pivot right here, and. Our handle for the cart is going to be this aluminum rectangular tubing like the rest of the frame, but we're going to, we're going to incorporate it into a round handle, which I'll show you in a, in a moment. So we're just using some of our pins that it comes with our toolkit. Um, we've seen them used before, but you can also use uh, this little, little mini V block you know, that would go in there and would hold a tube and swap those out and put a tube in there. So, so our clamps in there, our rectangular tube will rest on those stops. And this is a, very trick little way of repeating our notches. So we have our uh, 90 degree angle block here. It's adjusted from the edge of the hole saw where we're, our cutting edge to the back. So I can just, as many tubes as I want to land in here, I can just bring it in, clamp it down, and notch and repeat the notches over and over and over again. So, so that's hanging off the back. Now obviously this we can turn the notcher, index it in any way, and set our stop along the full length of the table um, and in any way we'd like. So if you have some offset notches or you're trying to land on the side of a tube or something, um, the whole drive system here uh, adjusts up and down off of this bolt underneath here to help um, keep the the notcher nice and tight. Right back here, just like you know any other hole saw notcher, uh, it goes up to 50 degrees notch. And for the fabricators that you know do hole saw notching, you know you know that you have that little infinite space that you can go past 50 by trimming the the edge of the tube. So 50 degree notcher dialed in real nice there and some another cool little feature here part of this notcher is this back row here which kind of curves down to this so you have four holes um, those don't match the other holes and that's for a good reason because the top is at zero degrees but as it goes down so this is offset 15 degrees 30 degrees and 45 degrees. So if I just pivoted the pins to this side so you can see, you know, that would set your part at zero. That's 15 degrees and so on. That's 30. Our bolt is in the, in that spot right now, but you know, if you went down to that last fourth hole then you'd be able to go in 45 and we're working on the back side of the notcher just so you can see what it's doing um, you clamp your part in that angle so that's a pretty cool feature already built in and you can see here there's a little scale there for adjusting your offset notches.